I'm gonna turn off the chat because I can't do this shit right now. Um, for whoever is in here and like records lives and shit. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. I can just save this, hopefully. Um, I just four times, four times I just recorded like a whole video that like of me like trying to just like explain what's going on and like kind of clear up everything. Um, I hate to do this live because I can't like I literally I've tried everything and it's not working. So it really is driving me crazy. Um, I guess I'll just fucking freestyle it right now. Um, basically, basically I'm just concerned now. I think maybe I'm more annoyed than concerned, but I, okay, first off, I don't care, like, if there's strangers or, like, fans or, like, people who are, like, what's wrong with her or like you're so weird or like you know stuff like that like you need help and you need therapy stuff like that's like that's already insensitive but it's like when it comes from someone that isn't in my personal life that I don't like hold value to I I like don't really care like it might annoy me but I don't usually I don't usually care um but when it's someone who's like personal to me basically okay what happened was I got two dms today from people who I never speak to who I have no like deep personal relationship with but like they were in my life and they like hit me up out of nowhere at like around the same time and they both are like hey how are you? Like, do you need anything? How are you feeling? And I'm like, great, thanks. I appreciate it. And like, I told them what was going on. I have like puppies and, um, you know, working out and I'm hanging out. And one of them, even after the whole conversation, like letting them know how I am, they were like, that's all cool, but are you feeling all right? And I'm just like, yeah, thank you. And then um, the other person was like, you know, just, I was like, I was like, yo, like, listen, this is starting to get a little weird. Like if I'm like making you uncomfortable um, or, or making you worried for me, like I, I really do apologize. Like this isn't something I'm doing on purpose. Like I feel fine and I appreciate you for um, looking out for me. And uh, they were like, cool, cool, all right, all good. Um, just checking in on you. And I'm like, thanks. And I hadn't spoken to this person, mind you, in like a really long time. So the fact that the conversation didn't go further than that is a little concerning to me. Um, and, and it's just that on top of like everybody being like, you're on drugs and you're crazy and what has she done to herself and you need help you need like don't be afraid to like you need to seek help um that stuff is so it's it's really heavy it's a heavy thing and it's kind of funny because I, I always was the person to be, like, posting dumb shit on the internet. Like, I mean, for, for a fucking example, I made Moo. I have a song called, like, Bitch, I'm a Cow, and I'm, like, rapping about, like, literally being a cow. And, like, I got famous off of that. So it's just funny to me that people are in any way, like, shocked or taken aback by me being bald and having no eyebrows. Maybe, maybe to be fair, I've always kind of seemed like a thought. Like I've always had my ass out and been like sexy and like I rap about sex and stuff like that. So this being 
this some people don't see this as very sexual but to me it is i feel like i feel sexy um for sure but i i understand that i can see that angle of it but i i don't care and i have had moments in my life where i have not been well i there was a moment where i was really stressed out and this was like maybe eight years ago or something like that, a long time ago. Um, yeah, much, I mean, even further back, I was like very not in a good place. I've, I've like had that issue before. And you guys would know. Or, or actually, I was still performing and touring, but nobody could tell that I was going through this. And it's just funny, it's like, the second that I get to feeling like I'm free and I feel cool, motherfuckers are like, you're not good, <laughs> you're not okay. But I'm like, I'm chill and like I really, I want you guys to not be, if you really have, you know, love for me and you really are concerned about me, I do want you to know that like, this isn't uh, like a cry for help or an issue of any sort. This is just me having no hair. And I'm still the same me. Um, I guess the bigger, the bigger difference now in my life is that I'm not performing and working as much. So I have a little bit more freedom. And uh, I think that that kind of makes me overexert in a way. Like I'm like kind of crazy on the internet more, more so now just cause I have that time. Um, and I get bored. I get bored now. I used to not really get bored. Um, so yeah, I really do appreciate you guys being like concerned. I don't appreciate the randoms who are in here probably right now who are like, you're, you're sick. <laughs> like, it's just not cool to like diagnose people that you don't know. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've always been like this and I'm probably always going to be like this. Um, and I don't, I, it's, it's actually sad that I have to explain this stuff because a lot of people don't um but it's it's I guess it's where I put myself you know I kind of I kind of brought this on myself um I have a lot of people a lot of eyes on me I have a lot of followers so you know not every single one of them is cool not every single one of my followers is kind not every single one of my followers is you know what I mean? Like, some of y'all are actually... Some of y'all are following me, but you don't have my best interest at heart. And you really do have the ability to to hurt me. Like, you, you would go out of your way to say something that is hurtful or insensitive. Um, and we all say dumb shit. But I want you to know that I know that. And I just... I don't care. I don't care how you feel about me doing this um, if you don't care about how I feel in general as a person. And, yeah. So, that's basically that. And I love you guys. Thank you so much to all the people who care and are supporting me. I really do. I love you. I don't say it enough, but I do. And, uh... 